Hi, in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to create accounts, edit accounts, and create sub-accounts within QuickBooks. So in order to do this, you're going to want to access your chart of accounts. There's two ways to do this. One in which is go into your Quick Start homepage, which I'm on right now, and select Chart of Accounts in the upper right hand corner. The second way is to go into your toolbar and hit Chart of Accounts. Now if you did the startup interview, you will notice that you have a basic start for Chart of Accounts. And if you, let's say you started from zero or you started from scratch, you won't have any accounts in here. So you're going to have a lot of accounts to create in this chart. So let's start off by going first. Let's go ahead and go to accounts at the bottom. Hit new. And we want to start a bank account. Because that's how you're going to pay your bills. So what you're going to do is select bank from this window. Hit continue. Put the account name. Now you can put the name in the bank, you can put main checking, you can put savings, however it is that you're going to know what this account is. However, whatever name you do put in here is the name that's going to show up on any of your reporting that has to do with the bank account. So again, make it easy to know and very simple. We're just going to put checking. Again, you can write a description in here. You're going to want to put your bank account number, your routing number. And again, the bank account number and the, and the routing number is optional. You don't have to. The, the tax line mapping should automatically appear for you. I normally wouldn't change this or even access the tax line mapping unless you are familiar with the type of entity you have and the type of accounting and taxes that you need to deal with, such as different tax forms and everything, where everything shows up. I normally wouldn't touch that line unless you're a tax professional. Now your enter, your enter opening balance. This button is basically going to be what did you open that account with? Did you open that account with $100? Did you do a transfer? Whatever money you initially put in that account to open it. So go ahead and click on that. And you're going to want to put the statement ending balance. And actually the statement ending balance is only going to be used if for any reason it was at the end of the month. But you want to usually put the date of when you started the account and the amount in which you started the account with. So for the sake of this account, we're going to say we started it with $100 and we did it on the very first day of this year. Okay, you hit OK. And as you see here, you have $100 as of January 1st, 2011. That's your starting date and that's the amount that you opened the account with. And then you want to hit save and close. Now this is not the only account that you're going to create. You can hit save and new. And it's going to take you to the next account. And then you would just select the account type from this window. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do a credit card account. Now you don't want to usually touch the accounts payable or the accounts receivable accounts because those accounts are already done within QuickBooks. You don't need to touch them. We're going to do a credit card account. And you're going to pretty much treat this the same way you did the bank account. Put the name of the account. Again, this is going to show up on your reporting. So make sure that you know it's very familiar to you. The description. And if you want to put the credit card number, you can. Again, depending on the type of QuickBooks you have, it should automatically populate the tax line mapping. But again, I wouldn't mess with that if you're not a tax professional. And then the enter balance. Now, credit cards start off not with the deposit, but with the charge. So what was the charge that initially got you going on this credit card? You may not have one. You may not, you might just have the card sitting next to you and you haven't charged anything on it. So at this point, you don't have to enter anything here. But if you have one of those credit cards that charge a monthly fee and that's your first charge that's going to be on that credit card, well, then you want to put that here. And our, ours is a $35 annual fee, so we went ahead and got that charge on the credit card, so we're going to enter that in our opening or our ending balance, which is really our opening balance. And that happened again on the first of the year. Hit OK. And then you're going to save and close. Now you see our Chase Visa is here, or our credit card that we entered is here. 
there's our charge. Now what you have to know is on credit card accounts, if there is a negative, that means that there's money there. If there is a positive, as it shows here, that means that there are charges. So if it has a line in front of it, there's money there. If it shows negative 100, that means there's $100 in that account. If there's $35, that means you have a $35 charge. Now here's your checking account for your bank account. Again, if you open that up, you'll see that we opened the account on 1-1. One one, and it was $400. And it already notes in QuickBooks account opening balance, so we know. And that's how you would create a credit card account and a bank account within QuickBooks. And again, I mean, if you wanted to open more accounts, you could just by going no to new. Select the type of account that you want. If you don't see it here, select other. And here's your other types of accounts. There's your liabilities. There's your expense accounts. There's your other expenses, your incomes. You can enter all that stuff here. Let's just say that we want to do an other income account because we want to do an account that shows the discounts that we give to our customers. So hit other income. We want to say customer discounts. And you're going to want to enter, of course, the description note. If there's a sub account, which we're going to get to next, then you can put that here. You hit save and uh, save and close. And as you see down here at the bottom, there's customer discounts, another type of account. You see here it says it's another account. So we set it up properly. Now, let's just say that you want to create. I'm sorry. Let's just say you want to create a, a sub account. Now, a sub account is basically you have a main parent account. Let's just say you have professional fees. And those professional fees, you have accounting, you have legal, whatever it is that you have for professional fees, legal and accounting would be your subcategories. So for this sake, we're going to have utilities. We want to create a new account under utilities that shows what type of breakdown we have in utilities. So we're going to say we want to create a new expense account. And you're going to want to hit continue. And you're going to want to put, we want to have it a water expense account. And so you would type in the name of the account that you want to have, sub account of, and in here you would, cho you would choose what the sub account is. So our sub account is going to be utilities. Again, descriptions, notes, and you can put save and new to do a next one. So our next one is going to be gas and electricity. It's going to be a sub account again of utilities and at this point we're done with our utilities so as you see here you have utilities as your main account and gas and electricity and water are your sub accounts and this is a good method to use when you want to know just by sight on your re your reports your profit and loss statements where you're spending your money and that's all there is to know about starting accounts editing accounts and creating sub-accounts within QuickBooks.